Vocabulary 10. Hi, this week's Best My Test TOEFL vocabulary video deals with pollination, an essential process in the reproduction of plants. We'll start with the root word of the noun pollination, which is another noun, pollen. Pollen is a powdery substance consisting of pollen grains which are produced by the anther. The anther is the male part of a flower. Now, when we use the noun pollen, we combine it with a singular verb, pollen is, but pollen grains are. Here is a magnificent photograph that will show you what the anthers, the anthers of a flower look like, combined with a sample sentence. The male part of a flower is the stamen. The stamen consists of a filament and an anther. The filaments are the long slender stalks and the anthers are the pollen producing structures on top of the filaments. Pollination, our next word, takes place when pollen is transferred from the anther to the stigma. Look at this picture of a lily in which you can clearly see the anthers and the stigma. This beautiful purple lily has six purple anthers and one blackish grey stigma. Stigmas provide landing places for pollen and an entry point into the pistil where fertilization occurs. Now you know I've warned you before that I am no artist, but I've drawn you a picture of two flowers to make the explanation of pollination even simpler to understand. So the anther produces pollen and then the pollen is transferred to the stigma of another flower in the case of cross-pollination and the same flower in the case of self-pollination. But I'll tell you more about that just now. Basically, you need to know that the anther produces pollen, which is transferred to the stigma, which is at the top of this structure called the pistil. And that is the first step in plant reproduction. Here is a sample sentence. The amount of pollen deposited on the stigma of a passion flower during pollination determines the number of seeds the fruit will contain, as well as the size of the fruit. The size of this passion fruit and the large number of seeds it contains suggests that the pollination process was very successful. A pollinator is an animal that transfers pollen from the anther to the stigma. And here are some examples. Bees, wasps, Ants, flies, moths, butterflies, birds and bats are all pollinators. Here is a sample sentence. Insect pollinators play an important role in the pollination of agricultural fruit crops. Pollen adheres to the bodies of the pollinators when they visit flowers as food sources. The pollinators then transfer this pollen from one flower to another. Not just insects pollinate plants, the wind can also pollinate plants. So a plant that is pollinated as a result of the action of the wind is wind pollinated. And a plant that is pollinated by insects is an insect pollinated plant. Here is a sample sentence. Wind pollinated plants generally do not invest in features that attract animal pollinators, for example, beautiful flowers, nectar or scent. Instead, they produce large quantities of light, dry pollen that can be carried on the wind. Earlier, I briefly explained the difference between cross-pollination and self-pollination. Let's recap. Cross-pollination is when the pollen from the anther of one flower is transferred to the stigma of another flower. And self-pollination is when the pollen from the anther of, of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the same flower. Here are two sample sentences in which the words cross-pollination and self-pollination are used. Cross-pollination merges the hereditary characteristics of two plants and creates a more varied species 
which is more adaptable to changes in the environment than self-pollinated species. The garden pea plant is capable of self-pollination because its flowers have both male and female parts. Pollen is transferred from the anthers to the stigma in the same flower blossom. And that is the end of our pollination video. For more information about TOEFL vocabulary or TOEFL practices, go to the Best Mic Test website, www.bestmictest.com. Goodbye.